from Golf Bravo 90. I can talk to people all over the world. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is M6. As a radio amateur, I'm legally entitled to transmit to 400 watts. I use my local repeater, which is GB3DA. Hi, this is Pete, M0PSX, from the Essex Ham website. On the 27th of July 2012, the first day of the Olympic ceremony in London, Tom, 2E0TNC, and I took a trip to the Royal Borough of Greenwich to check out the hottest must-work call sign, 2 Oscar 12 London. This station, plus Welsh counterpart 2 Oscar 12 Whiskey, are the two official flagship amateur radio stations for the UK. I caught up with Bob, M0MCV, to find out more about the station. I'm the president of the Cray Valley Radio Society. I'm also a team leader of 2 Oscar 1 2 Lima, or London as we're, as we're saying. Um, the station's been organised by the Cray Valley Radio Society. The aim is twofold. One, to have a great time playing radio. The second is to encourage uh, visitors to take up the hobby. We have an exhibition which explains to people who are complete novices to, uh, to, to amateur radio what, uh, what amateur radio is. We have five stations here, three uh, HF stations, two VHF stations, and we have six big antennas outside, which uh, Pete will attest to because he's uh, drooling at them. We have, uh, we have three, uh, three towers at uh, about 60, 70 feet with uh, quite large antennas on, like large single band antennas, uh, especially the, uh, the, the two element Yagi for 40 meters, worked into Japan on, on 40 and worked into Australia on 40 meters. So just to set the scene, I'm looking at a room with uh, five operators, all with, uh, with their headsets on in front of computer screens and very impressive looking bits of radio equipment. Working away, they're all incredibly busy because uh, in amateur radio terms we have something uh, that's known as a pile-up. Would that be fair? Absolutely, yes. And if I understand correctly, you have a target to try and talk to 60,000 other amateurs around the world in the seven weeks that the, uh, that the event is on. Uh, how achievable do you think that is? We set the target at a level which we were fairly confident that we would achieve, but we've actually been blown away by the, uh, the amount of people that uh, are queuing up to make contact with, with us, such that with um, 7,500 contacts in less than two days, uh, I think that the 60,000 contacts is going to be achieved much, much quicker than we thought. And the team here at Cray Valley are quite happy to let amateurs have a go and work the 2012 L station as well and I'm going to be having a go at that in a minute. Bob, thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck with the target. Thank you very much Pete and all the details uh, of the event are on our website which is uh, www.2oscar12lima.com We're also on Facebook and on Twitter. We also caught up with one of the busy operating team, Kevin, M0KSJ. Now, Kevin, you've been working since the first day of the station and hard at work mostly on the HF bands. How's it been? Oh, it's been fantastic. I mean, if you, if you come on the air with a, a special event call sign of this magnitude, it, uh, yeah, everybody in the world wants to work you. So, uh, yeah, if, if you've uh, been struggling to work stations from your home, uh, you come on with uh, 2 Oscar 12 London. Um, everybody wants to work you. So, yeah, fantastic experience and uh, a great team event as well from uh, all the members down here. And, and how long have you been licensed? Uh, I've been licensed uh, with full license since 2008. And in your four years as a full license holder, is this uh, one of the busier, more busy stations that you've worked in your time? Oh yeah, no comparison, no comparison. I mean, we do smaller events and uh, we do uh, some of the charity things for the British Wires, for the Blind, uh, Mills on the Air, uh, or obviously some of the sports radio contesting things. But uh, no, if you want a special event station, uh, come down and see uh, 2012 London. And uh, it's in a totally different league. And uh, it's quite a challenge doing it in, in London, uh, a station of this size with the antennas and uh, the infrastructure to get it into uh, the Royal Borough of Greenwich is uh, quite an achievement and uh, we've got seven weeks of this ahead so uh, we're thoroughly looking forward to it. And 24 hours a day as well, that's pretty impressive. How long a shift would, uh, would one of your operators normally work? 
It varies. Uh, I, normally sort of a couple of hours minimum, but uh, if you're feeling keen, you can go, go on as long as your voice holds out. And uh, yeah, the HF stations particularly, uh, it's, it's just wall to wall uh, pile up of people wanting to contact you. Excellent. Well, Kevin, I wish you the best of luck and I hope your voice holds out for the seven weeks. Yeah, thank you very much, Pete, and really appreciate that. And I've, I've got plenty of packets of menthol cough sweets to keep me going. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks very much to the two Oscar 12 London team for making us feel so welcome. They're all volunteers from the Cray Valley Radio Society. If you do get the chance to go into London over the next few weeks, they're open from 10am to 4pm and they're very welcoming. They're just a couple of minutes walk from New Elton Mainline Station. There's an exhibition to encourage newbies to take up the hobby and you may be able to have a go at working one of the pile-ups waiting to get into the two Oscar 12 London's impressive electronic log. The station and the exhibition here is open daily from uh, 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Uh, that runs uh, until the end of the Paralympics. So yes, we'd be delighted to, to see people. For full details of the station, some pictures and information on how to find them, go to www.2012l.com. This feature is brought to you by essexham.co.uk promoting amateur radio in Essex.